Hello friends, this is Zeher from Easy Peasy and the topic that we are going to discuss today is called as small nuclear RNA. Small nuclear RNA also belong to the category called as small non-coding RNA as it has nucleotides of 150. It is present inside the nucleus of the cell. Inside the nucleus, we have chromatin material. The function of chromatin material is to synthesize messenger RNA. So, the function of small nuclear RNA is to do the pulse transcriptional modifications on mRNA. There are two classes of snRNA that are SM class snRNA and LSM class snRNA. In both classes, the SM is basically a type of protein that surrounds itself to SNRNA and make a complex called as ribonucleoprotein complexes. In SM class SNRNA, we have different types of SNRNA that are U1, U2, U4 ATAC, U5, U7, U11, and U12. Now why these all SNRNAs start with U because they have high uridine nucleotide present in them. So that's why they start with U here. In LSM class SNRNA, we have two SNRNAs in it. That is U6 and U6A tag. U6A tag is a subtype of U6. SM class SNRNA is transcribed by RNA polymerase 2. LSM class SNRNA is transcribed by RNA polymerase 3. SM class SNRNA, during their biosynthesis, they do leave the nucleus and then come back to perform its function. LSM class SNRNA never leave the nucleus. Now all these SNRNAs SM class and LSM class plus their proteins, they made a complex called as spliceosome. Now, this is the pre messenger RNA we have. This box type structure is basically showing us the coding regions that is called as exons. And this line type area is showing us that these are the non coding areas which is called as introns. The function of the spliceosome is to remove introns from pre-mRNA and to make it mature messenger RNA. There are two types of introns here, U2 and U12. U2 is the most common intron we have and U12 is the rare type. Let's see how all these SNRNAs is going to perform their function by removing this U2 introns. This is the process that is showing the process of spliceosome here. Now again, this is the pre-mRNA and this black line is the intron we need to remove in this process. So U1 and U2 comes by and attach itself to 5' end and 3' end of this pre-mRNA and making a complex called as complex A. More proteins are coming that are U4, U6, and U5, and they attach themselves to this intron and make a complex called as complex B. Now, U6 take the place of U1. U1 and U4 leave the complex, and now they are making a complex called as complex C. In this complex C, U6 and U2 cut the introns from the messenger RNA and U5 joins them together and now make the mature messenger RNA and remove introns from it. U12 is a rare type of spliceosome. Let's see how it's going to perform its function. So U11 and U12 is going to come by along with U6A tag and U4A tag. All these SNRNAs with their proteins come by and remove the intron from this messenger RNA. This type of spliceosome is a minor spliceosome. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe my channel.